Pasha, Pasha's Korach, when Korach made the terrible mistake to fight against Moshe and Hashem. What was his mistake? The Mishnah teaches us that an argument which is for the sake of heaven always will always be around. And argument which is not for the sake of heaven will just disappear. And the Mishnah explains argument for the sake of heaven was Hillel and Shammai. And as we know, Hillel and Shammai, throughout the Mishnah and the Talmud, they were arguing over almost everything. But it's still around, thousands of years later, we're always discussing and debating in the Talmud and yeshivas all over the world are learning the Torah. However, an argument which wasn't for the sake of heaven was the argument of Korach. Now it's interesting because when you say the first argument was Hillel against Shammai versus Korach's argument, it doesn't say who he was against. It just says the argument of Korach. Why doesn't it say the argument of Korach and Moshe? But here lies the mistake. You know what Korach's problem was? It's okay to have an argument. It's okay to have a complaint. And you know what? Even if that complaint is sometimes about God, you're allowed to share your feeling and say, Hashem, I have a problem. I don't understand your ways. But you know what? It has to be healthy communication. It has to be a two-way argument. Hillel versus Shammai. Korach's mistake was, I'm right. No matter what, you're wrong. And when someone argues like that, you'll never even hear the other side and you'll lose it. That was Korach's mistake. That's something we have to learn. We have to know that there are two sides to every story. We have to listen to our spouses when there's a problem and discuss it. Listen to your children when they're not happy. And most importantly, you have a question on Judaism. Something bothers you, listen. Don't just attack and say, I'm right. Ask the question, listen to the rabbis, listen to what the Torah has to say, you'll see both sides of the coin, and then you'll understand life way better. Thank you, and good Shabbos from the Traveling Hasidim.